Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and variations thereupon. It's Citizen 7. We're playing Dungeons of Dreadmore, and this is Nora, the clockwork adventurer. We are about to begin. If you want to see the details of our build, go ahead and watch the last episode. Dun dun dun. Sweet. We have an axe and a shield. An axe and a shield. Let's equip our crossbow just because it's a good thing to have a crossbow equipped. We have no skills here, so we will equip our arrows. So we start shooting our basic arrows. And look, we've got two ingot presses. Does this alt split? Yes, it does. We can sell one. We've got our anvil. Oh, we got a grilled steak to start off with. I love me some grilled steak. And our Tinker Rose parts. Of course, our Iron Breastplate, better than this leather cuirass that we've also been awarded. And we start with a leather cap with a cog on it. Hey, it's got a cog on it. Just wait till that pack of steampunks that's always hanging around gets a look at this. Yes. This is our, our amazing... Whoops. Start, and of course, we can't steal anything out of these. Let's go away and see what's in them. Sliced bread. Good for making grilled cheese sandwiches. Which is this, of course. And grated cheese, too. So you forget that. Because we've got our Dwarven Panini Press. A crude stone axe. We already have that. Gelatinous wand. Ooh. Siegfried already this is this is unfortunate he has not noticed us so let's did he just notice us let's hope he didn't because we're not ready to deal with Siegfried yet come on there you go that was not good but he gets jabbed. We ask him a question. Diggle, come around the corner. How do you like this? Ah! Hit. Kill a few more diggles. And, uh. Oh, sweet. We can. Uh, disarm those traps. We weren't able to see them, but we were able to disarm them after we had already caused our blood to splatter all over the dungeon floor. Let's uh, eat one of these softballs. Let's eat this pear and regain that health. I want to at least hit level one before we uh, try and kill Siegfried. It was very unfortunate to find him right away. Oh, check it out. The Lutfisk statue. Lutfisk for the Lutfisk god. You have tied zero pieces of Lutfisk. Of course, uh, we have none right now. But um, if you don't know what Lutfisk is, it's uh, it's a Norwegian fish-like product. Uh, I don't really know. It, it's not super good, but you know, it's one of those cultural delicacies. <laughs> yeah. Ha-ha! <laughs> Chop! <laughs> Chop! <laughs> oh, dodge! <laughs> Look, more traps. Got traps all over the freaking place. So when we uh, we actually have the ability to disarm these traps, but we don't see them before they appear, and that's very irritating to me. I hope it's irritating to you, because um, our trap our trap affinity is one, our trap sight radius is only also one. So let's take a look at our kills skills. What's going to get us more trap sight mechaniker? Um, I definitely want to get that fairly soon. Uh, really, we should be working on on leveling up Clockwork Knight because it is super powerful, and this is the sort of madness that we want to be that we want to be working with. That's the whole purpose of this. Is God damn it, Nora, to be the Clockwork Knight. But I can't see these traps. I keep stepping on them. They're not hurting me as much as when I was just a straight up rogue. But honestly, that's just, it's not okay. Little baddie. 
Ha ha ha. There we go. You know what? Let's let's just go with that. That was probably the worst choice I could have made in the current situation. But I think we'll get I think we'll get level two fast and start getting attack powers. If this helps us to stop stepping on so many traps, we'll actually live live that long. Modular alchemy to make a thermite lance. Thermite. <laughs> that would be cool, but we don't need it. Gelatinous wand. Blah. Let's use that on somebody. <laughs> Not him. He's <laughs> There we go. Sickly Diggle collapses in a pile of fuel and squirts up squirt. Emerald amulet. Hey, smithing. Three pieces of platinum and an emerald turns into an emerald amulet. It makes sense, right? Verdant poison. Pick up the poison. Check it out. Poison. Oh, look, see? Now we can freaking see this thing instead of stepping on it. It was a good choice, people. Yeah, I'll pick up that trap. Now I've got it. Now I own it. Drink! Gaze into the water. Everything seems so clear. We have clear vision for... Oh, we can see all the traps. For 75 turns. Uh, less than, slightly less than 50% chance. Try it. Oh! No. Wrong choice, Nora. Your life is so bad. The foppish tunic, of course, not as good as our own breastplate. We are a warrior this time, trying to get that war on. <sighs> should we eat a diggle egg? Or should we eat this cheese? If we step here, uh, things will get dark and we'll be attacked by some monsters. So I think we can kill them. Get the art. XP. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's what our gelatinous wand did to them. Oops. Sometimes you, you just you do things you didn't mean to do. And you click on something, you step into a space where you thought you were going to attack. Still. I think we can kill this big old critical hit. There we go. Bill. What you don't want to do is get hemmed in by enemies because they are going to be able to all smack you at once. You, hey look, we found it. You only get one hit. We are almost to our next level where we can grab another um, ability. Here's a monolith that's gonna have to, something to do with Inconsequentia, usually. Not always, but usually. Another ingot press and uh, some coal, some hematite, piece of iron, copper. This is all great stuff. I love crafting. Let's wind him up. Take that. Yes. He's dead. Ha ha ha. And there's some caltrips. Pick that shit up. And all right. Let's get a rocket powered punch. Bam. Ooh, and we learned a we learned the clockwork grappling bolt. Got another one of these. Got these things like this rusty caltrops and uh, these are the same. We now have three ingot presses. We only need one, honestly. Um Ingot press. Ingot press. I must have clicked on the anvil. And let's see what we have. Oh, it's coal. Oh no. We did find the hematite, so let's craft some iron. Now three pieces of iron. What can we make? We can make some iron boots. They will make us less sneaky. Um... But we have no boots right now, so it's it's going to be an up for us. More armor, and that's always a good thing. We're slightly less nimble, but I mean, 
we kind of committed to that when we became the Iron Dude. We are Iron Man. That is why we're cool. Creep Blake Trap. Got a potato. Nothing over here except a blockage. Let's see if we can make it down this way. I was going to say, somewhere there's going to be a thing for that guy. You know, getting that trap thing. It would be the right choice. I just hate stepping on traps and seeing them always makes me happy. Uh, what do we get here? Felt truffle. Pairwine. Self sealing stem. Well, I, we've been not stepping on the glyphs just because, you know, we were going in a, a nice little line, but let's we'll just take us back over to a glyph that we had already found. Open this door. Degol! What does this do? Okay. We're gonna have to try out that power. Ooh, check it out. <sighs> that just angers me. All right, the Anvil of Krong. Uh, we don't have anything really good to put on here right now. I'd like to get a slightly better axe uh, before we try to, you know, get it blessed. Something a little bit better than that, you know, crude piece of crap. But we know where it is. We will use it before we go down to the next level. Cheese. Hey! Check that out. Look, another trap. I'm just rocking it. <laughs> not having lockpicks is, you know, it is what it is. We're not a rogue. We've got, we've got the power to kick open doors and be burly. Because we are a lumberjack. We've got this axe. We're a viking and a lumberjack and a awesome clockwork iron man all wrapped into one. All right, so that brought us to that. Those are four, our four displacement glyphs all accounted for. Our books, magma mace. Ooh, check that out. Fine iron mace plus infernal potion and a ruby gets you that thing. We are of course an ax wielder, not a mace wielder, but still defensive curds, put some cheese on your pants. All right, conceptual reinforcement. We've seen this before. We don't have the dimensional lathe. We might be able to grab one, but I don't know what kind of skill it takes to um, do that. All right, Siegfried. Oh, look, he's been injured by a thing. Hey, <laughs> hey, rocket fist. Alright, Siegfried has met his fate, and uh, 14 turns before we can rock against again. What's he doing? No, easy target curse. Who's on first? What's on second? I'm the luckiest boy in the world. Now you're a blobby. You're an idiot. Take the blob. The critical like hit. Of course, we don't have a we don't have a skill this time that will give us a little friend. No, we don't. So we will just have to be super tough by ourselves. Little black book. It's a tome. It's filled with quotations from Lord Dreadmore on all aspects of daily life. These aren't very useful, but at least there are some helpful necromancy tips writhing through the ruined borders of each chapter heading. Let's pull the lever and see what happens. Nothing. Did get this poison ampule, which uh, stacks with some that we already have. Uh, so we ended up way down here, which was uh, kind of cool. We could open this door, or we could go back. We got that, and our crude blade trap. Where's this one? Take us? Ah, right behind the monolith. Oh, and of course, you can't step back into that because the monolith is in the way. Maybe from the top? Nope, nope. The monolith is in the way, so. We will walk back down the long way. Uh, of course, our rocket fist is recharged, so we can uh, use rocket fist on him. Rocket fist. Hit. rocket fist, of course, does not have to go just in the cardinal direction, so that was cool to know. 
<laughs> Rocket fist. Sweet. Alright. Crafty crafts. Sweet. Pirates. Black pearl. Iron, of course, hematite. There we go. We will pay for that because you get two irons out of one hematite. And it was cheap. Right, so now we can craft uh, something else again. We've got our iron plate boots. Our um, little cog helmet, two armor and one, uh, one armor absorption and two block chance. No, two dodge chance for our cap with a cog on it. This uh, helmet would give us uh, minus one again to nimbleness, minus three to magic. We don't really care about magic. Three armor, one absorption. This one gives us four and two, and we do have enough to upgrade to the iron Yalmar. So I think we should upgrade to the iron Yalmar and um, because that would be cool. That would be very cool. And it gives us one piercing, one more piercing resistance. Um, the bronze, of course. Yeah. What else can we do with iron? We could make uh, the, we have the iron breastplate. The iron cuirass. Is that better than the iron breastplate? I'm seeing one piercing. 5 to armor, 3 to absorption. This is 4 and 3. 5 and 3 is better. 1 to piercing, also 1 to piercing. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 1. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 1. So this iron cuirass is better. We don't have quite the amount of iron that we need to create it yet. Um, are we using shields? We are using a shield. We have a wooden shield here, uh, which gives us 3 armor and 1 to absorption. This would give us... 3 to armor, 1 to absorption, and 1 to block, uh, no, counter chance, 1 to counter chance, but of course also reduce our nimbleness even further. I really, you know, we're, we just know that's going to happen, but we actually can get this level, the iron skilder, because uh, we have 3. So let's go ahead and get our iron skilder. It will be much better than this wooden shield. Check that out. And that, uh, this uh, was three armor, three armor, one, three block chance, one absorption. This gives us two absorption, five block chance, and two counter chance, plus two piercing. And this had no piercing. So now we're up to resisting four piercing. Armor, very nice. Magic, very not nice. We have negative one mana regeneration bonus. Yeah, so, you know, I'm not sure if it can go lower than that. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. We aren't using it. Our point is to be the awesome knight. So, if we get a little bit of silver, we can make this a ruined iron skilldeer, which will um, increase our blockage to our um, uh, block to six, absorption to four, and counter to four, which is just, you know, good all around. I just, I love crafting. Crafting. We do, uh, we are still using a crude stone axe, so uh, making a rough iron axe is probably a, a good step up, so we can get up to the iron axe, fine iron axe. You know, it'll be a little while till we get some steel, but maybe, you know, get some, some great stuff. How many? One, two, three. It looks like only four ingots to take it to the fine iron axe, so that should be our next our next crafting element. Ooh, found a blade trap. We're uh, we're not. I think mostly we're not going to be using these traps. We're going to be we're going to be selling them for money. But you know we could use we could use one right now. Why not? I say it. Oh right, he flies. How how stupid am I? At least, you know, we could pick it up again. 
We do have our rocket punch. Let's remember that we have a rocket punch. That was amazing. And by amazing, I mean absolutely shit. Nice freaking job, Nora. Don't step on that because it's not good. Look, a heroic vandalism to vandalize. Smack it. Heroic vandalism. Merlot, pick it up. Cheese, get the cheese. Cheese is more important. Yeah, bash it. Ah, oh, look, an aluminum tube. I bet we can grind it up and get some aluminum out of it. Batty. <laughs> Come on, Batty. Bam! <gasps> you know. I, I see no reason not to do that. Ching. Thermite bombs. <laughs> and a bolt dispenser. We'll be making our own bolts later on. Oh, look. We found a bubble person. By pulling that lever. Critical hit. Uh, boulder drop plate. Let's drink this. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. You feel refreshed. I like feeling refreshed. Cheese. Bread. Gold. Cracked orb. You know, we're not a wizard. I don't know what to do with that. Except don't step on the anti-magic field. At least we're not a wizard. Diggle. Let's read this. Whoa, holy crap. Magnetronic plate armor. Oh, that looks so badass. Full plate armor, etheric power cylinder, copper wire, iron ingot, tinker, make it so cool. All right. Yeah, you must be swift as the coursing river, men. And it's time to level up. So, uh, we could get the rocket jump, which will... Um, we could get the rocket jump. I feel like we should get the Viking Strike, though. Uh, just because... Well, you know what? Let's let's continue our path. We really want to get charge of the Steam Brigade. Let's continue being the Clockwork Knight, and then we'll start leveling other things as necessary. Alright, Steam-powered Rocket Bolt now. Good. One spring load power core. Breast mechanism. Black powder. Stealing it. Bang. That's what... That's what it's about. Time to rocket jump. Ah, ah, ah. That was nuts. Eat food to regain health. Also, I think it hurt us quite a bit. You know, I wasn't really paying attention. But there was a huge freaking explosion. And, um... Go back to the rocket powered punch. Rocket punch. Rocket oh. hit. Yes. Pick up this. Lootfisk, take it to the Lootfisk god as an offering. No. Let's leave that alone. Until we get a little better at that. Uh, right, we're hurt. We should eat something like a potato. Let's eat a cheese. Uh, and then let's keep an eye because we're going to need to eat another cheese. Fishy scots. Right, the Lootfisk god is up there. Ha! Infernal potion. Didn't we, didn't we find, like, a recipe for an infernal mace? Was that a tinkering thing? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Magnetron plate armor. Oh, I want that so badly. I really hope we survive to make this. Because that is cool as shit. And, no, that's just some get pressing stuff. And there it is, the magma mace. Now we have our infernal potion. We can make the magma mace. Not that we really use maces, but I mean, magma mace. It's not nothing. Let's not step on that. <laughs> Check it out. We found the secret thing, and he stepped on the toxoblobby. Went ahead and stepped on a trap for us. Chupum. 
Any other traps? No, the Toxic Blobby already took care of that. Got a little, little dagger there, little shiv. My food. Let's uh let's eat another cheese. Or let's eat this pear. Oh look in consequential. But she's gonna tell us to do something to do with the monolith. And if not, that means that there's another inconsequential on this level. Yes. The vile monster! Massagino, the sonnet of constitutions, has seized control of the dungeons. Well, all right. We'll have to seize control back. That uh, son of a bitch. Sickly Diggle. Oh, we got Diggle fever. Diggle flu. You've got an embarrassing and debilitating disease. There he is. Let's give him the rocket jump. Well, that didn't work. Let's rocket fist. Take that, a son of a bitch. And then we'll shoot him with this because we can. Until he comes up next to us, in which case we hit him with axe. Run, run like the coward you are. X. Oh, he counterattacked, and we blocked. A1 to regain health. C -c Critical hit. Binitarp, the fetid lava. Bubble person. C -c Critical hit. Let's eat uh, a cheese, please. What kind of cheese do we have? I got some bread. Let's eat this Havarti. You, 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 you've not noticed my presence. No, I bet you have now. Right. That went fairly well for us. Somewhere here. Tell me where the bomb is. You'll pay for this. We, we need to add the Viking Strike ability because Ruined Iron Hjalmir. Yes, that's good. Metal Orby Staff and Hyborian Potion. Potion of Mana, Sapphire. Well, why did it disappear? All right. Where'd that blobby come from all of a sudden? Make the fist! <laughs> that fist is just ridiculously powerful. Come on, blobby. Chop you up. A critical hit. This, uh, of course, is plastic ore. Because plastic is mined. But no, we can, uh, we can create plastic out of our, um thing and we can make plastic arrows out of that which are better than these wooden bolts or they're just as bad but they're super cheap and easy to create so we can just spam those always a good thing to be able to do there having an axe oh look sapphire hyperborean potion interdimensional axe yeah we got a new axe hey there we go this axe uh, is going to give us uh, four to slash and two to toxic. Though caked with the putrid blood of demons from many dimensions, this axe otherwise possesses no particular interdimensional powers. All right. Look, we got another bookshelf. I love finding crafting. Dwarven army sword. So you get a sword, an axe, and a mace, and <laughs> dwarven army sword. There you go. Uh, that's kind of bugged. I wanted to read the the tooltip on that, but I'll, I'll read that, that later. Let's kill this little baddie. I think we're about um, 
about done with this episode. So, um, been, uh, been going at it for a while. So, uh, I'm going to save the game, pause the episode here, and we will meet up again next time.